Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Maybe you didn't know, but the renowned manufacturer of keyboard switches called Cherry also produces a few of its own mechanical keyboards, one of those being this high-end model that goes by the name of MX Board 6.0. The front of the product box is as simple as it can be, just a model name and some key features pointed out, German marketing at its best and the way I like it, just being straightforward. Going to the back you will see a picture of the keyboard itself, surrounded by an overview of the model's main features which I'll cover later on, as well as a list of system requirements and what you'll get in the box. Speaking of that, opening it up, here we have a user manual. detachable palm rest part and finally hidden in this very soft cloth bag we have the keyboard itself. Right upon first sight you can see and feel that this is not your ordinary mechanical keyboard. Before all the keyboard is really heavy and sturdy, all thanks to its aluminium top housing cover which has sanded finish and grease resistant coating and which also in the end gives it a premium look and a feel of good quality. The layout is pretty standard looking, nothing out of the ordinary in terms of the key placement, but you'll get an extra row of keys above the numpad portion with dedicated media control keys and a key with a cherry image on it representing the win key lock. In terms of other controls, at the top row you will find some extra shortcuts embedded together with your standard function keys like volume and backlight control and they can be operated using the dedicated FN key just like on the notebooks. As you probably noticed, the keycaps are a bit shallower than your usual example, but nothing to be concerned about in terms of use. Below them you will of course find Cherry MX switches, in the case of this model that being the softer red ones. Backside unfortunately doesn't reveal any pass-through ports like for example audio or USB ones, while going to the bottom you can see that we have a plastic base holding few rubber grommets, usual standoff feet for achieving an angle and a connection point for the cable and its canal guides, which on first sight seems to be like it's detachable, but it actually isn't, it's hardwired, so don't push it or else you'll probably break it. Speaking of the cable, you'll get a 2 meter long, nicely braided and very thick one with a sturdy USB connection. End. Down there you will also find a magnetic point for the palm rest add-on, which is then very easy to attach, although I wish it had a bit more hook points so it can be even firmer. Taking the keyboard for a spin, first thing you will notice how quiet it actually is compared to other typical mechanical keyboard. It's very comfortable, especially if you plan to use the palm rest, overall very pleasant to use, but it's definitely more suitable for gaming than for typing since it has Cherry MX Red switches as they are more easy to trigger. Some other features are also leaning it more toward gaming, for example this model supports full N key rollover, 100% anti-ghosting as well as implementation of the Cherry Real Key technology which enables fully analog signal processing in real time, reducing the response time to a bare millisecond. In combination with those Cherry MX Red switches, this model turns out to be one very fast keyboard, if not the fastest on the market. Backlighting of this model is also done without any compromises, it comes in red only and everything is evenly illuminated without any noticeable bleed. The keyboard itself has a few different ways of dimming out the keys, one being in very very small increments, 1% to be precise, so 100 increments, while the other one is way faster in steps of 10%. There's also a switch for instant off or on state with a cool fading effect. As you can see some of these so to speak main keys have a blue backlighting, windows key, fn key and numlock key and they cannot be completely turned off except the numlock key which turns off if you deactivate it. The status keys also light up blue when they are activated, that beside the numlock key being the shift and scroll lock keys. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the Cherry MX Board 6.0 mechanical keyboard. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, that helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.